What's up, Realize Nation? It's your boy Isaac checking in the Realize Garage. Yes, I'm running out of places to film, but bear with me. We're still going to get these videos done. And today I'm going to talk about how you can overcome a bad day. And this was basically a question that was asked um, on my YouTube channel by a subscriber, Jeff Moss. And he said, um, I have this problem where I wake up some days exhausted, in a depressed state, miserable about life, riddled with anxiety, and get nothing done and feel even worse because I've lost an entire day. I fall off track and I have to start all over again. How do I fix this? Well, basically, dude, um, I've got the thing for you because I felt one of those days yesterday. Yesterday, I was feeling like shit. Yesterday, I was feeling sluggish. I was feeling somewhat depressed. I'm motivated. You name it, I was feeling it all. So I overcame that and now I can come back and give you some tools to work with. The first thing you have to realize is that bad days are going to happen, right? A lot of us, we think that once we get to a certain stage in life, once we get the job, once we get the, you know, we find our mission and we start hustling towards something we've always dreamed about, we're no longer going to have bad days. It's going to be all good, right? Not true. Life is transient. Emotions are transient, which means they change and shift. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It kind of makes sense. In order to gain context on what happiness is, you need to experience sadness. In order to gain context on what pain is, you need to experience pleasure. You need the opposite sides of the spectrum to be able to understand each individual emotion and be able to experience the holistic emotions and everything of life. You have to understand, like, if you were just happy all the time, like what a lot of us think would be ideal, if you were just in bliss all the time, you wouldn't understand what bliss was because that's all that you have. That's your default state, right? This would just be normal to you. It's the variances that make you understand each emotion. So these bad days are needed. They're going to come. What matters is how you face them. If you have resistance towards them, if you feel like this shouldn't be happening to me, if you stop um, awfulizing the event, making it worse than what it is, that's when you're going to have problems. But if you see it as, okay, today I woke up, things aren't that great, it's not really the best day, but, you know, these come, take it for what it is, you're going to be a lot better for it, right? It's quote pro quo, something for something. You can't have the good without the bad. Now, so understand the context, right? Bad days are going to happen. The second thing you need to do is, because you said that some of these days you go the entire day feeling depressed, feeling anxiety, and you don't accomplish anything. No, 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 no. We're still going to accomplish things. You still have to do the work. Just cut down on the workload. Don't try to accomplish everything that you normally would do on a good day, right? Because you don't have the resources, you don't have the energy to do that. But try and exert all your energy or what energy you do have into the one thing that's most important for that day. So if it's an essay you have to write, if it's some training you have to do, if it's a video you have to edit, put all your energy into getting that thing off, knocking that thing off. Because if you can accomplish that thing that you had to do, that's already a successful day. Because what you have to understand is as long as your life's general trend is upwards, right, as long as the net of all your days is positive and you're moving forward you are winning my friend you are succeeding in life right so one bad day isn't gonna do anything a week isn't gonna do anything but you need the general trend to be upwards it's only when we start having a number of these days going downwards right when we are always having these bad days when we're not doing anything about it that our lives can change for the worse so focus on doing that one important thing and you'll be in the gold don't let it go into that downward spiral where you're constantly doing nothing each day and because you did nothing the day before you're more inspired to do nothing the next day and it just builds momentum of being lazy and not accomplishing anything and you can get into that downward spiral of depression and you don't want to go there okay so try find what's important for the day and tick that off use your energy get that off and you will keep going up the third thing meditate ground yourself right Yesterday when I was feeling like shit, um, I sat down, I meditated, I put some binaural beats in and just relaxed and it took a while but eventually I got to that meditative state where I was just fully present to the moment and all the thoughts I had in my head, all the stresses were gone and I was just focusing on my breath and it was good and it brings back clarity, right? It grounds you back to the reality that you got so many things to be happy about, man. You're still alive. You got everything going for you, right? You got your family. You got whatever you're doing right now. Things would be far worse, right? It's just that our minds, which change our perception of reality to a great extent, can make it seem like things are 
really bad when they're not. So when you meditate, it kind of gets you out of your mind and back to the reality, which will help you improve your day, right? So if you're having that bad day, just meditate, get back to basis, ground yourself. Now, those are my three tips, right? So put things in context, right? Understand that you need to feel these bad days. Um, tick off that one most important thing that you have to do. Still get things done. Meditate, ground yourself, come back and realize that you have lots of things to be grateful for. And if you find yourself constantly having these bad days, right? If it's just happening repeatedly, repeatedly, perhaps it's a sign to reevaluate your goals, reevaluate what you think is important because these things shouldn't be happening, especially if all these things I told you and you're still having these bad days, reevaluate your goals, go back to a drawing board and see what you have to change in order to start feeling good again. Because sometimes when that happens in a row, it's a sign that something needs to be changed. Anyway, so those are my tips to overcome a bad day. Hope they helped you, bruh. And if any of you guys have any more requests, because I'm doing these videos every single day, put it down below in the comment section. And I'll be seeing you soon. Peace. Jeff Moss wants to know how he can overcome a bad day. Overcome. Is that a fucking fly right now? That's some bullshit, man. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Um, would you mind clicking the post notifications if you do subscribe? Because if you don't, you won't see the videos in your newsfeed, which is pointless, but YouTube does. YouTube's going to YouTube, all right? And yeah, peace.